All right, so uh, this problem here, we're going to look at exponential growth. And uh, so let's look at the problem. So it says a biologist recorded a count of 360 bacteria present in a culture after five minutes and 1,000 bacteria present after 20 minutes. Okay, so there's three things we need to find. What is the initial population in the culture? and write an equation representing this situation and what is the doubling time. Alright, so our equation is going to be A of T is equal to A sub 0 times E to the KT. Alright, so uh, we want to find the initial population, A sub 0, and you notice in the problem they don't give it to us. Okay, a lot of times the problem they'll they'll give you the initial population, but this one doesn't. All right. So what we have to do is we just have to uh, find it based on the information we know. So we know our only variable after we find our function for the second part, our only variable is t. Okay, it's a function in terms of t. So we do need to figure out what a sub 0 is and what k is. So let's just see what we have. Okay, so there's 360 bacteria present after 5 minutes. Okay, so that means if I plug 5 in for t, okay, if I plug 5 in for t, I should get 360 as an answer. Okay, A of T, that's the, that's the amount of bacteria. That's A of T. So if I plug 5 in, let me change colors. So if I plug 5 in for T, that is going to equal A sub 0 E to the 5 times K. I plug the 5 in for T, and I should get an answer of 360. Okay. Then it says, and 1,000 bacteria present after 20 minutes. So that means if I plug 20 in, I should get, uh, plug the 20 in for T, I should get 1,000. Okay. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Well, I can set up a proportion I know that 360 over 1,000 is equal to a sub 0 e to the 5k over a sub 0 e to the 20k. See, this is equal to this, this is equal to this. I can set up my proportion. And now look what I can do. I can solve for k. Well, you can see the a sub zeros they cancel and I'm left with uh, I don't know let's see what that does when we if we punch it into the calculator okay so we get 0.36 is equal to e to the 5k over e to the 20k alright so remember this is going to be 0.36 equals e to the 5k minus 20k. I have like bases. I'm dividing, so I subtract the exponents. So that's going to be e to the negative 15k. And so now we can take the natural log of both sides. Okay. All right. So now I get natural log of 0.36 is equal to, and then this is negative 15k. Remember, I'll refresh your memory here, if you have the log of b to the x with base b, if the base of the exponent and the base of the log are the same, your answer is your exponent. Well, we have natural log e to the negative 15k. Well, remember, natural log is log with base e. Okay, 
So since the base of the log and the base of the exponent are the same, my answer is just my exponent. All right, so now we'll divide by negative 15. So k is natural log of 0.36 divided by negative 15. And so I can punch this into my calculator. So natural log 0.36 divided by negative 15. And it gives me a bunch of decimals. And I would, I would recommend that when you're working these that you write all the decimals out. I'm going to, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to round it to four. But like I said, I would write all the decimals out and use that. All right, so now I can take this k value and I can plug it back in to here. All right, so I get a sub t is equal to a sub 0 e to the point zero six eight one t. Okay, all right, so t is taken care of. Okay, t is taken care of. So now we need to see if we can find a naught, our initial condition. Okay, and and think about it. Look at this. It's asking us to find what is the initial population in this culture, and it says write an exponential equation representing this situation. So once we find the initial population, the a sub zero, well look, we'll have our we'll answer part two also. All right. So, well, let's see what we know. Well, we know that A of, I think it was five minutes, let me make, yeah. So remember, when we plug the five minutes in for T, we should get 360 as an answer. And when we plug the 20 minutes in for T, we should get 1,000 as our answer. So if I plug the five in, that should give me an answer of 360. If I plug the 20 in, I should get an answer of 1,000. Okay, so now look at this. I can use either one of these. It makes no difference. Okay, so I can plug 5 in for t, and then we'll set it equal to 360, and then look, I can solve for a naught or a sub zero. So I have a of 5, I'll just use the first one, equals a sub 0 e to the point 0 0.0681 times 5 equals 360. Okay. All right. Now, I just solve for a sub 0. So, see, I have, a, I have an equation here. So, a sub 0 e to the point 0 0.0681 times 5 equals 360. Divide both sides by this e. So I get a sub 0 equals, and then we'll have to punch that into the calculator. Point zero six eight one times five, and that gives me it gives me two fifty six point one zero nine two two nine six, and I'm going to round it to two fifty six, close enough. So there's my initial population. This is the initial. population. I don't know if they give us units. I can't remember. Let's see. No, it just says that many. Okay, it's that many bacteria present. It doesn't have anything to do with weight or anything. All right. So now that's my initial population. So this answers the first question. And then our function, well, I take the 256, plug it into here. See? There's my function. I just don't know what a sub 0 is. So I can plug the 256 in. So a 
of t is equal to 256 e to the point 0681 t. There's my function. All right, so now they want to know for the last part, they want to know what is what is the doubling time. So how long does it take it to double? All right, well, that would be that would be we want to know when does 256 e to the point 0681 t when does that equal five twelve okay it wants to know how long does it take for the initial population to double so the way I got this was two times two fifty six okay that's what I want to know so now I could divide by 256. I just solve for t now. And so I get e to the point 0681t is equal to 2. I take the natural log of both sides. And so that's going to give me point 0681t is equal to the natural log of 2. Remember, I went over how this goes to this earlier. And so divide by 0 0.0681. So I get t is equal to, and then we'll punch that into our calculator. And that is 10 point, and I'll round it to two decimals. I mean to one decimal. So 10.2 and we were in minutes. And so that's the amount of time it takes it to double. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, this is on exponential growth. I have some videos on exponential decay, dealing with half-life and stuff if you want to check those out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.